Hi, it's Michelle from Lab Muffin Beauty Science, and today I'm talking about this hairdryer, the Panasonic EHNA98. Panasonic hairdryers are really popular in Asia, so it's really great to see them launching in Australia. I'm partnering with Panasonic to talk about their hair care technology and about my own experience with this hairdryer. One of my main concerns about hair dryers is how much heat damage they cause, especially since I have quite fragile bleached hair. This hair dryer is designed to dry your hair while reducing damage. Panasonic's test groups found that they had less split ends, less frizz, and less scalp dryness after five weeks of using this hair dryer. One issue that I've really noticed with my hair is that on the first day after drying, it feels okay, but then on the second and third day, it starts to get really dry and crunchy, especially in the ends. I've been using this hairdryer for the last couple of months, and one of the things I've really noticed is that on days two and three, the ends of my hair are much softer, smoother, and much less snaggy, even though I'm using the same hair care products. People at work have been telling me that my hair looks much less dry than before. As you probably know, Panasonic is well known for their home appliances, especially their air conditioning systems, and they've incorporated some of this technology into this hairdryer. It's the Nano E technology also found in Panasonic's air conditioning systems that seems to be responsible for the decrease in visible hair damage, split ends, and frizz. Nano E creates small droplets of water using negative ions. These droplets are much smaller than steam, so they can get past the hair cuticle, but they're bigger than negative ions so that they bring lots more moisture into your hair. Essentially how it works is, the hairdryer gathers water from the air and passes high voltage through it to form these small nano-e droplets. The droplets can penetrate the hair shaft and close the cuticle, and so you end up with moisturised hair. The nano-e droplets are also small enough to moisturise your scalp skin. As well as the nano-e particles, the hairdryer has an intelligent sensor that adjusts the temperature to prevent heat damage. There's a quick dry nozzle which separates the strands of your hair so that it dries faster without you having to pump up the heat. After I let my hair sit in a microfiber towel for about 10 minutes, it only takes six minutes to dry my hair with this hairdryer, and I have a lot of hair. This hairdryer has a foldable handle, so it's really convenient for storage, and there's a sliding switch on the handle which makes it really easy to switch between different speeds. There are some different modes as well, which you can switch between using this button. Overall, I've been really impressed by this Panasonic hairdryer. This is the best hairdryer I've used. It dries my hair quickly without it going brittle, and it leaves it feeling soft and smooth and healthy. If you want to find out more about this hairdryer, I've put some links in the description, or you can check out Panasonic Australia's new Instagram page, which runs lots of product giveaways.